Hello, today I want to talk about a feature brand new to Photoshop and the Creative Cloud release of 2018. One I'm super excited about. It's a new setting under the brush tool. So if we open up our brush tool, we now see that we have a new smoothing option. This is a feature that I felt feel like Photoshop's been missing for a very long time. Talk a bit more about that towards the end, but I want to give you an idea of how it works. So for this release, I drew a brush stroke, acted like that. But now I have this new smoothing option. I turn that all the way up. You can see as I drag, I have this magenta line following or leading the line I'm drawing. And this allows for a much smoother line. And the quantity of smoothing can be changed, so if I put it down to something like 10, you can see that line becomes less intrusive. So play that. We have a few smoothing options we can go through. By default, it's set to this. Stroke touch up and adjust to zoom. Simply, it makes it so the line catches up to the string at the end. So if I turn this all the way up, you see if I start drying, the stroke will eventually catch up to the string. The other option here, adjust to zoom. It calculates the amount of smoothing based on the zoom of my canvas. So if I zoom all the way out, but not all the way out, but if I zoom significantly out, a little bit, and I use it, you'll see a certain behavior of the line. You see it going pretty quick there. Now if I zoom in considerably, I draw that same line. You see a little pull string guide acts much differently because it's calculating how much smoothing based on the zoom. And if you don't want it to do that calculation, simply tick that option off. I'm going to keep it on for the sake of now. Some of these other options, hold string mode. So what this does is you notice I start drawing a line. We have this circle here, and I'm not actually drawing because I don't begin to draw until I nudge the edge of that circle. So if I want to take a break, I'll actually stop drawing until I push that circle. So something like this would be very good for if you're doing very technical drawings, something where um, like angle measurements uh, have to be precise and you need very clean, accurate lines. Turn that back off. And that's basically it. I wanted to end this video by talking a bit about what I feel like this new setting means for Adobe. While I do this, I thought it would be fun to have you watch me play with this new tool so you can get an idea of what it feels like. On the left is me tracing this colored pencil drawing of a fog without line smoothing. And the one on the right is utilizing brush smoothing. So this is a feature I feel like that's been long missing from Adobe Photoshop. It's been in other tools since it's paint tool Sci. Um, pretty much every vector program has some type of line smoothing. Um, Photoshop has been able to do such things by only utilizing programs such as, or plugins such as like Lazy News Army um, or other fee uh, plugins, uh, which all cost something. So new feature along with some of the other 2018 releases such as the uh, increased property panel in Illustrator, 
um, the advanced paragraph and border settings for paragraphs inside of InDesign. It seems like Adobe's really beginning to look and listen to people and grow, not necessarily with new features, but really making things work as they should. And I really can't wait to see what they come out with for this upcoming year. So with that said, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you like this little demonstration, please subscribe. And that's a huge help to me. I hope you have a wonderful day.